With the Liberation Carnival scheduled to end next week, One Guam Company hopes to continue Guam's offerings in terms of recreation and fun activities with a new amusement park in Tumon. The Guam Land Use Commission heard from Tagata Guam LLC today regarding its plans to build an amusement park in Tumon. The park will be done in two phases, with the first consisting of three rides, including a huge swing called the Viking, a gravity-defying ride called the Tagata, and bumper cars. Phase two will consist of an inflatable balloon ride rising to 100 feet above the ground and a 3D plane ride. The property is estimated at over 11,000 square meters, but Tagata Guam plans to only lease 3,763.58 square meters over a seven-year period between the Ohana Bayview and the Pacific Place here in Tumon. Willie Flores from WB Flores & Associates, who represents Tagata Guam, says the project is intended to enhance the Tumon experience for residents and visitors alike. The estimated cost for the park is over $2 million and will be marketed with travel packages. He has the rides were modeled after stateside parks and the slingshot ride in Tumon. I think between the two, we're going to have some very, very good opportunities for uh, both uh, you know, the local residents and the visitors to come out to get some thrilling rides and to get some uh, uh, distractions and some enjoyment on, a different, on different scales in the exact same place. However, at today's GLUC meeting, some discrepancies were brought up regarding the actual lot number for the site. Tagada's application stated its lot number is 5051-2-new-6-new-r3. GLUC chairperson Jay Lather. So now the whole big lot, including the area up on top to the left there, it's an, it's a, it's an L-shaped lot. That's all dash R3. Mm. I but see what you're, you're saying. But your lease is only for that little tiny piece up there. I see what you're saying. Which is the old 6 new. Mm -hmm. So your lease doesn't match your application. Now, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, help me understand it more then. Tell me how we're going to proceed. The commission voted unofficially to approve the plan pending clarifications on the lease, which Flores says he will submit next week. Once its tentative development plan is approved, it will obtain building permits and seek direct input from various GovGuam agencies with hopes residents and tourists can enjoy the new park within a year. The projections show that it should be able to be very successful. Um, the rides themselves are not going to be um, as expensive as you might think in terms of, of you know, for bringing a family. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.